Hello everyone, my name is Monique Morrow and I'm a Senior Distinguished Architect in Emerging Technologies at Cineverse. And Cineverse is based in Tampa, Florida, although I am actually working from Zurich, Switzerland. So this is an attestation that we are indeed a global company. So my main way area work is really taking and synthesizing these emerging technologies and uh, making sure that there is an association to to business and business opportunities. So examples of emerging technologies could be, for example, in the form of blockchain or quantum uh, computing or quantum security. Uh, these are sort of uh, really short examples of where, what I do. It's really emerging. And what it, it's really kind of an interesting area because what I have to do is make sure that we actually take a pipeline that is a longer tail pipeline and these uh, take these emerging technologies and, and associate it with business opportunities. I have uh, several IEEE uh, positions as chair at the moment, particularly in, uh, in emerging, uh, what I'll say is uh, ethics in, uh, in virtual reality or uh, what I'll call associated realities and also in terms of uh, setting up what we call ethics in the metaverse. There's an ethics component, and of course, ethics is uh, quite contextual. You know, we have to think about what ethics means, how do we define it, especially if I'm looking at uh, augmented reality, emerging reality, and ethics, which where I'm a chair, and what is emerging also in terms of the metaphors. It's quite a multidiscipline uh, area for for the industry at the, at the moment. Hence, therefore, why there is a focus, if you will, uh, taking these emerging technologies, not only looking at it from a standards perspective, and that's the wonderful work I'm doing with IEEE uh, and also with the GSMA, but also uh, making sure that uh, there is a, a linkage, if you will, to, to customers. And these may be in the form of, of mobile customers, they may be in the form of enterprise organizations. And so uh, it's, it's a very global uh, opportunities that we see. quite a big range, but these are the challenges is to make sure that you're not too um, conceptual, that you can bring uh, what it is that you're talking about in terms of concrete opportunities and make sure that you know you have uh, the ability to talk with a CEO of a company or a head of an organization such that they can see uh, the value of what it is you're, you're doing. So it's being able to develop the value add proposition uh, which is the big challenge, uh, but if you're not able to have that value add proposition developed from the very beginning, uh, you will lose a lot of, uh, uh, of folks. And uh, this is kind of the tension and polarity that I have when we're looking at uh, new technologies and that range of new technologies and being able to do two things. One is, you know, foot, uh, really footprinted to business, and the other is making sure that there's also a standardization uh, component of it. I'm very proud of being an inventor uh, and I have uh, at least 17 patents right now that I've co-invented. Uh, co and I think that's really uh, very, very hard to do, uh, to be an inventor. Uh, I'm, I know that there are women in the industry who are master, uh, what I'll call master inventors. But for me, it's uh, something that I'm uh, very, very proud of. And, uh, once you're an inventor, you know, you have that as, as something that is in your pocket, that you've invented something. And the most important thing is not just about patents and being an inventor, it's about seeing the value of what you invented coming to a business opportunity. And so that's what I'm very, very uh, proud of is, is being an inventor. And this, these are U.S. patents, by the way. Comsoc is where I connect because it's a fantastic community with like-minded individuals where I can actually uh, set a path forward uh, with uh, these like-minded uh, individuals. I love Comsoc. I love what we're doing in IEEE and what better place than Comsoc.